data and AI specific certifications in Microsoft Azure. So our focus will be on data and AI platform. So as you know, Microsoft certification generally comes with three major buckets, role-based, specialty, and fundamentals. So role-based is what do you do? You go deeper into it and then you implement things like that into, into the certification exam and it asks you syntactical questions, so it should be hands-on experience. And then comes the speciality, which basically focusing on specific workload running on Azure. And last but not the least are the fundamentals, which focuses on overall high-level concept on areas like AI, data, and Azure. Now, if we talk about DP900, that's the Microsoft Data Fundamentals, it consists of four major areas, relational database, non-relational database, analytics workload. And then it also touches briefly on the core data concept, which is cloud agnostic, but to give you a sense what you can do in cloud in terms of data and AI perspective. After that, it comes AI 900, which talks about the AI fundamentals. This also consists of four major areas. And then the, this talks about fundamental principles of machine learning, computer vision workload in Azure, and then conversational AI. And then it talks about the different uh, AI workloads uh, and consideration uh, for Azure specific services. This is truly really the fun of all the certifications you do in Azure. That's Azure Data Engineer Associate. And this is equivalent to Azure uh, Solution Expert uh, Certification, which again consists of uh, two uh, different certificates, DP200 and DP201. The first one talks about the implementation of Azure Data Technology, so which basically talks about storage solution, processing technology like stream analytics, and then different data solution. Uh, the design is all about like knowing what to um, put where in terms of giving the solution architecture to your customer or the end user. And if you clear both of them together, you get a Azure Data Engineer Associate badge. And then Azure AI Engineer Associate, this is AI 100. And that basically talks about how you design an AI solution and how you implement uh, and monitor AI solution from an Azure perspective, right? What are all different cognitive services available? How do you integrate them into your application? How do you create, monitor, maintain, write code against use SDK, so on and so forth. This is real tough exam, I must say, because this is a data scientist associate exam and it focuses mainly around data science, both theoretical and practical aspect of it. So you need to know a bit of what data science is and then when to use which algorithm, what it means in terms of for a typical data scientist to know about different keywords and terms they use, right? How do you uh, build a model? How do you do a feature engineering? How do you deploy the model? And then how do you use the Azure platform to do all your data science activity? This is an apparently new exam recently released. That is DP300. That's administering, administering relational database on Microsoft Azure, which means that it's sort of like a DBA, but DBA for um, Azure. So you can think of like what all we have in Azure in terms of relational databases. We have SQL database. We have SQL manage, managed instance. We ha can also run SQL on virtual machines. So when you manage them, um, how do you, what all different things you need to take care of, and it revolves around those uh, aspects. Then comes the great Power BI. So we have a dedicated exam for Power BI. That's called DA100 and that's uh, da analyzing data with Microsoft Power BI. So how do you build the Power BI, visualize the data, deploy it for the end user, prepare the data, model the data. It's all about 
Power BI tool, how you use them, both uh, the hosted version and the desktop version, and then deal with your large amount of data set. With this, it ends with Azure certification for data and AI. Thank you very much, and thanks for watching.